What's up, world? Welcome to our first episode of Cooking with Chef Boy Rob. Now, today's dish is for all you pasta fans. Yeah, pasta fans, just like me. Now, I'm trying to slow down on my starch, but for those who are not, we're making our chicken farfalli alfredo. It's a wonderful dish. It's actually one of my favorite dishes, and it's real easy to make, and your people will love you for it. So, are you ready to cook? I hope you're ready to cook with Chef Boy Rob. You ready? Okay, let's go. All right, people, this is the ingredients segment. This is all the ingredients that you need to be able to make my chicken farfalli alfredo. Okay, you ready? Let's go. Now, this is our farfalli pasta, which is also called bow tie pasta. Farfalli is an Italian word for butterfly, so just keep that in mind. It's butterfly pasta, I love it. Um, also, you definitely want to have your alfredo sauce. Now everybody likes to use different types of Alfredo sauce, four cheese Alfredo sauce, uh, roasted garlic, sun-dried tomato. This particular Alfredo sauce is dipped with a little bit of Parmesan. So this is an Alfredo sauce with Parmesan, so you'll definitely love that. Um, we have our green bell peppers. I'll show you what to do with that. I love green bell peppers. But my favorite color is red, so I love my red bell peppers. You have your red bell peppers. I'll show you what to do with that. And then you have your green onions, your green onions, yes, I love it. Um, you have your half a stick of butter, half a stick of butter, I'll show you what to do with that. And then we have our secret ingredient, the cinnamon. I'll show you what to do with that. And then you have, of course, your black pepper, and then you have your salt, and then the mega one pound of brown chicken. And that's all you need to be able to make my chicken farfalli alfredo. So y'all ready for some cooking? I hope y'all ready. Let's go. Now the first thing that you do, you have your pasta pot. You pour your water, let's say about four cups of water. Four cups of water in there and you bring it to a simmering boil. And then once you do that, you just throw your farfalli pasta into the boiling water. I love this. salt in there. I call it putting in salt for good luck. <laughs> now while that's boiling, you want to get ready to prepare your ground chicken. Now, you turn your fire on medium. Pour a little bit of olive oil. That's your ground chicken. Nice and savory. So you take your ground chicken and you put it into your... To me, I like to use a frying pan because it creates the process. A lot better. And what you want to do, you want to cook your ground chicken nice and fine. That's how nice it's coming out. Now, when the ground chicken cooks for about uh, two and a half minutes, then you want to add your seasoning. Okay, now you want to put your salt. Probably about, I would say about a tablespoon of salt and the black pepper. About the same, about the same thing. Tablespoon. I mean, some people like black pepper, so you want to add it a little extra kick if you want to. So it's your choice. We're very flavorful, very safe. When you're done with your ground chicken, your pasta should be just about ready now. Now you wanna make sure you drain your pasta thoroughly. Now after the pasta is drained, look how nice and fine the bow tie pasta is. Nice, nice. Now, what a lot of people don't do that I like to do, I like to prepare my pasta. I don't just leave it plain, so I actually prepare my pasta. So I'm gonna show you exactly what I do to prepare my pasta. I use the half a stick of butter. Put it right there in the pasta. Okay. And just with a little bit of black pepper. Just a little bit of black pepper. And my secret ingredient. The cinnamon. <laughs> so you put the cinnamon in about like a half a tablespoon. There you go. 
then you mix it. You just mix it all together. Now what it does is it creates a nice coating over your pasta and it'll go great with the Alfredo. Ooh, smell that cinnamon. Amazing. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lightly saute your bell peppers and the onions and let me show you what to do with that. So you get, you get another, I use a frying pan, that's what I like to use. And you know you pour your olive oil in just a little bit of olive oil. You take your bell peppers and you want to you take those, you know my favorite color is red of course. You want to let that do something. What I like to do is I like to give um, the bell peppers a good simmer first before I add the green onions only because the green onions is a little bit easier to cook and make soft. So you let it cook. You let it cook for about a uh, minute and a half with just the bell peppers and the olive oil. You add your green onions. Now I love green onions. The green onions is what's going to add this, uh, this uh, kick effect to this pasta. Me, what I like to do, I like to add just a little pinch of, of, of black pepper just to add a nice coating to it. It always looks good when black pepper's on top of it. Now what I do is I take this and I put it directly into the pasta. I'm take this and put it right into the pasta. Right in there. Then you take your brown chicken and you put it right into the pasta. Yeah. Right in there. And once you're done with that, now it's time to mix it. You want to mix the pasta along with the ground chicken and along with the vegetables. Right in there. So you just mix it. Everything is good. Last element, the very last element, is your Alfredo sauce. So you're gonna pour your Alfredo sauce right into the pasta. And once you pour it in there, you stir it. You stir it. And you're putting it all together. This is the grand finale. Everything comes together. Feel free to add a little bit more black pepper if you wish. I like to do it. A little extra kick, and everything's coming together. That's your last element. That is your last element. All right, once it's all mixed up and it's ready to go, then you have it: the chicken farfalli Alfredo. Amazing. It's all put together, and there you have it: the chicken farfalli. Alfredo. Like I said, it's real easy to make. You don't have to worry about nothing. People are going to love it. This is like one of my favorites and I hope y'all enjoy the show. Thank you for cooking with your true chef, Chef Where I Rob. And remember, you don't have to be a chef to cook good food like one. All you need is ingredients, time, and a little bit of love. Thank you for being with me. God bless.